Hello, everyone. Welcome to the dose of Dr. E and Dr. P. We'd like to give you a very brief update on the world of continuous glucose monitoring. Now, the Dexcom G7 is not approved yet in the United States, and the Libre 3 is also on the horizon. But the Eversense implantable CGM is here and now, was just approved for six months, and I'm, we're going to talk about that in a little more detail. Yeah, you know, we wanted to talk about the Eversense because it has been around for a while, but like you said, um, it's a little different because it is implantable, it goes under the skin, and, you know, up until recently, it could stay in the skin for three months. Now, six months, a lot of people kind of, you know, that's a little bit more interesting people, they want to hear about it. We have both actually had these implanted, so we're going to talk about it, what it is, what the procedure is like, if people are interested, and some of the advantages. So tell us about, you know, what makes up the Eversense system, Steve. Yeah, and we should say that, you know, there's different strokes for different folks. you got to pick the system that works best That's for you. That's the whole idea. Everybody on insulin should be on a continuous glucose monitor. This is another great option. So this little device, which you probably cannot even see, is the sensor. And with a very short 10 to 15 minute office procedure, uh, they put a little numbing medication in, they make a little incision. There's actually a special insertion tool for a qualified individual uh, to put in the sensor and then you put on steri strips over it, not stitches, and you leave those on for about a day and then you're off and running for six months. Yeah, and like I said, Steve and I both had this done. I got to watch Steve go first. Didn't cry too much, <laughs> um, but literally it was over, you know, in, in five minutes tops. And yeah. it's, it's like a tiny little incision. It goes typically, you know, in the back of the arm right here. Um, this stays under the skin for six months. And then what you have to do then is put the transmitter over it um, to kind of broadcast the signal generally to your smartphone. Yeah, well, this, this is the transmitter. It's waterproof. Um, and it's, I put on some double-sided adhesive that comes with it. You change this. Uh, pretty much every day. The, the transmitter itself needs to be charged. It takes about 10 minutes. Um, it's important to know that, um, that it also vibrates. It vibrates a certain way when you get above your predetermined upper limit, and it vibrates a different way. So it can be pretty discreet. And so even if you don't have your phone on you or whatever, it can, it can still let you know if you're high or low. And another cool thing is that you can take this off whenever you want. Let's say you're going to the beach, you're going swimming, whatever. And then when you're done, you put it right back on and it immediately starts you know, transmitting again. So you know you don't have these like warm-up periods or whatever. So if you want to kind of make your diabetes invisible, you can, and then you know put it back on and, it, and it's off and running. Yeah, it's it's it also transmits, as you said, to Android or Apple devices, mm -hmm. both phones and smart and smart watches. And it does all the usual things. You know, it, you can share with people, your doctor, uh, alerts and alarms, downloads, you know, all that kind of stuff that goes with a CGM. It does require one calibration a day. At the current time, the 90 day was two calibrations a day. So they're working on less frequent, but uh, yeah. it keeps it accurate. And that's the thing. Some of the advantages are it's extremely accurate, particularly in the, in the low blood sugar range, which has been a problematic issue for some other CGMs. So it's very, very accurate. Um, and um, other advantages are that, you know, it can be good for people that have issues with adhesives with other continuous glucose monitors, which unfortunately is common. Um, that, you know, after a couple of days of wearing the adhesive, the people can get really bad rashes. This, because you can replace it every day, um, it doesn't have to be as, as abrasive, you know, so people um, tend to kind of tolerate it better. So, you know, back to the opening thing, which was all about finding the CGM for you. Maybe you've had issues with adhesives. Maybe you like the idea of having it implanted or taking it on and off. Um, uh, and then talk to us about, like, does it integrate with pumps? Will yeah. it? Because that's another, you know, important consideration for people. Yeah. Um, you know, the company is called Sensionics, and they, they're partnering with Essentia that does the marketing, and they are working on the, what we call the I designation, and I doesn't stand for integration, but. <laughs> <laughs> the I. But, yeah, they're working on that, those collaborations. They're also working on a 365 day uh, implantation where it lasts up to 12 months. And they're actually working on all kinds of cool advances, but currently, uh, they, this is called the E3, kind of the third generation implantable CGM device. Yeah. So if any of this is of interest to you, check out the website you know, below or there's a phone number that you can call. Um, you need to find a qualified center to kind of implant these, obviously get information. Um, so check it out. We hope this was helpful.
Oh, and check out our June 18th yeah. uh, conference, uh, our next virtual conference. Be sure to not miss that. We'll be talking about these devices in much more detail. See you later.